so they can create the fictitious view in the public with decoys that there is actually a terror movement so they can sick homeland security on the American people. Did you ever think about that, Pale Horse? Oh, of course. I mean, I know there's there's plenty of feds out there in the militia movement, but if you knew me personally, which obviously you don't, you'd know that I'm the furthest thing from a fed that you could possibly have. I mean, I'm just a regular guy. You know, I work. I have two children. And, uh, you know, I just woke up eventually, like everyone should. And uh, at that point, you know, I did the same thing that you do, and I just decided to do the best that I can to fight the new world order and, uh, you know, just m make a name for my group. And uh, Well, here's the deal. Call. We're we're in urban terrain, and so this is the, your uniform. This is Alex Jones. Have you heard of the Millionaire Patriot? Well, you should. He has a free handgun and five days of firearms training waiting for you. That's right. You can attend five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapons permit, all for pennies on the dollar. Plus, if you act fast, the Millionaire Patriot will give you a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. I believe now is the time that you and your family need to be armed and trained to levels that exceed law enforcement and military standards. Front Sight provides such training without any boot camp mentality or drill instructor attitudes. This is real. Don't miss out. Secure a Front Sight defensive handgun course plus a 30-state concealed weapons permit for pennies on the dollar and get your free handgun. Go to FrontSight.com today. That's F-R-O-N-T-S-I-G-H-T.com. Go to FrontSight.com for your training and free gun. This image here on screen at PrisonPlanet.tv or go... Watch his videos online. We have them linked on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com or on YouTube at uh, YouTube slash Ohio Militia. Perfect how they've got the American flag behind them. And this is a multifaceted image. Now, if you hit on this by yourself, which may be true, I'm not saying you're a liar, then it's amazing because this is exactly how the globalists would phrase it. They would put a lieutenant behind you, which is associated with third world dictators, thugs, things like that. He's also meant to look a bit ridiculous, a bit tubby, uh, with mixed matched uniforms to disgust military people, spree de corps. This is meant, they're afraid of the military and police, as the Southern Poverty Law Center said when they attacked me and Stuart Rhodes and Ron Paul in their report last week. They're afraid of the military and police joining the spirit of 1776. So they're all into being in shape. And I'm not saying you're fat. Maybe it's just a lot of clothes you're wearing. Uh, into how they dress, what they look like. I mean, a gas mask, helmets. So, so this is meant to look Laurel and Hardy right here. But then your voice is also meant to scare little old ladies who don't get that message. It's just meant to scare them and kind of scare the gelded, cowardly public. And then you've got your adjunct here, uh, or your mini me behind you. Uh, I mean, I mean, sir, you have hit, look, talking to you right now, your voice, everything you say sounds like you're not a fed. But then the image is just how did you perfectly hit what the new world order would want? I mean, just magically, or I guess there's thousands of militias. Somebody out there is going to put out the image the establishment wants. It was actually very impromptu. I mean, you know, uh, having my friend stand behind me was actually like a spur of the moment decision, you know, as we were filming this thing. And, uh, you know, it was a showing force basically that, that it's not just me, you know, that there's actually other people in my group. And, uh, you know, that, that it's like the Republic me. of Texas has admirals over bass boats. Yeah. I, you know, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> look, I'm, look, 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 I think you're, I think you're obviously a good American. Uh, you, I mean, your voice, everything, I couldn't tell off the voice on here. And I'm not knocking you. And, 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 and a lot of these militia guys get mad because they want to strut around at events and camo and walk around acting tough. And it's like some kind of adolescent, you know, deal or something. And then I see them go to prison. I see them get set up. Anytime somebody's trying a militia, yeah, we're going to case out the local police station. And then... You find out it's the cops leading it, and they bust you, and they put a pipe bomb in your car, and it's malicious plan to bomb the police station. And it comes out six months later in federal court that you weren't planning that, but they got the, 
the feds created the Viper militia out of a meth-dealing, toothless biker gang on the West Coast so they could have the term Viper with militia. I've got stacks of news articles here. Mossad double agent is script writer for bin Laden tape. Hardcore Zionist Adam Perlman, who once condemned Muslims as bloodthirsty terrorists behind latest scam. The Intel Center uploaded the, the Al-Qaeda videos with their own watermark, with the Al-Qaeda watermark. Proven. Same people. Um, turned out the guy running Intel Center was black ops commander under Rumsfeld in CIA and Pentagon both. Here's another one. White supremacist radio host Hal Turner was FBI informant, came out in federal court. That's mainstream news. Miami Herald reports the major leaders of their white supremacist meetings there are feds. Uh, you have the Southern Poverty Law Center with Elohim City white supremacist compound, founded and commanded by Southern Poverty Law Center. That came out mainstream news, FBI documents, running McVeigh out of there. Then you have the Army involved, Camp Grouper, fueling the rider truck. Local cops saw it, took photos, thought it was suspicious. Look, they're loading that rider truck. Of course, then some of the cops that released that got killed. Oh, yeah, they kill cops. So you need to understand, bro, that I understand that maybe this is a feedback loop from old militia movies the feds put out and old al-Qaeda movies they put out. You picked up the archetypal image of this and maybe subconsciously recreated it here. Because when I saw this, it was like red alert. So do you get where I'm coming from? Oh, yeah, totally. Um, you know, I, I wish I was that clever, to be honest. Um, really, it was just, you know, with the innovation of editing and everything, you know, I just sat there for 10 minutes um, sweating under the heat lamp and uh, just said everything that was on my mind and edited it down and uh, just threw in a few news clips, and that was, you know, the basic, you know, format of the video. You know, I mean, I didn't really have a pre-written script or anything like that. And like well, said, listen, well, listen, what you say is pretty good. Which is another thing the feds would do. When they put out fake messages, it sounds reasonable, but then the imagery is bad to make people then think you're bad when people hear the good message. I've studied the enemy operations. Stay there. I want to let folks hear what Pale Horse actually has to say and, and who you really are on the other side. Direct to you and in your face. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. We're going back to Pale Horse here in just a moment. Going back to Pale Horse. Pale Horse, I've got a few final comments I want to make. But other points you'd like to add about being now the poster boy for the militia slash right wing extremist slash white supremacist movement because they you know they first say white supremacists then they connect it to militias that are a good thing then once they demonize militias they connect that to gun owners veterans conservatives people that don't want the health care bill and I don't know if you've heard my show before but I've been making the point the last year that as soon as they reintroduce the militias are going to kill you propaganda that means they're getting ready to stage a false terror attack and blame it on all of us out here fighting the New World Order. So we're now moving into that final phase, and uh, none of us are perfect in our presentation here. I've certainly done plenty the media can demonize, uh, so I'm not here judging you. I'm just constructively saying that, uh, well, there's a guy that wears a skull mask, but in a sharp Marine dress uniform. They tracked him down off his IP address and threatened to court-martial him. He didn't stop. They were scared of that sharp uniform and a high and tight focus person whose eyes were you know, pointed straight and on target because the top, you know, the eyes were showing. It's the eyes being covered up. If you're going to cover your face, show your eyes. This is contact with people. They don't respect somebody whose eyes they can't see. Uh, get a uniform that's trim. I mean, there's such a thing, it all goes into military psychology. And I'm not here knocking you. This is stuff I learned over the years. Go ahead. Um, you know, I, I do agree, you know, I could be a Fed. But at the same time, anyone who's in the militia movement should be weary of anyone that they don't know. And uh, But, but you don't have to be wary if you're at county commissioner's meetings out in the open 
And if you're doing things like the apple seed course, where you're just out saying, everybody come out, it's fun. We're shooting and rediscovering George Washington, and we're the good guys. We're the majority. The feds are scared to death of that movement. They want it to be, you know, we're putting on our mask and hiding in the woods and, you know, sneaking up to cornrows and aiming our guns out when cops drive by, acting like we're doing something bad. That's what's filled with feds. Do you understand? Well, yeah, and, and if you look at my message, nowhere is there hate speech. Um, I'm not a racist. Um, and, you know, it, it's easy for people just to believe everything they see on the news, that, oh, these militias are bad, and, uh, you know, they're all white supremacists and things like that. You know, I've trained with African Americans and, uh, and other ethnicities, and, uh, you know, I just think it's wrong the way that they're putting us out there like that. But I understand at the same time that, you know, being part of the militia, that that's one of the downfalls. Look, what's happened is being involved covering the militia, a lot of these guys have never been in the military. I haven't either. I'm not up here being macho. And they want that experience. And they know America's in trouble, and they're good guys.